Hey, happy Friday, everyone. This is Athens Clark County Mayor Kelly Gertz. I'm coming to you on November 6th, 2020. A lot of you know that I worked with middle school and high school kids here in Athens for about 20 years before I was mayor. And I would sometimes hear from members of the community uh, who I didn't work with uh, discontent or even frustration at parents of some young people here in Athens uh, who felt like those parents may not have been doing the job that they should be doing. And what I found through the experience of doing the job when I was in parent-teacher conferences and when I was visiting with families, whether it was on Highway 29 or Hawthorne Avenue, is that the vast, vast, vast majority of parents were doing everything they possibly could with the tools they had and with the resources at their disposal. And I mention all of this because here we've just been through this very fervent election season where temperatures have been high and uh, people have been understandably concerned. Um, and as we go through a time like this in our civic life, it can be easy to dehumanize other people and to think of other people as in fact, not just different than me, but completely the other, as alien. And what I found, just like with those families I worked with, is that in invariably people wake up in the morning and want a hot cup of coffee and want to see their kids be successful when they drop them off at school, like I'll begin dropping my son off at school again this coming Monday, uh, and take care of their friends and their family members and their neighbors. And while I hold deeply strong political beliefs and social beliefs rooted in a desire for everybody to have a great place to live and a good job and health resources and employment opportunities, uh, I also hold firmly to our common humanity. And so I do wish that in the days and in the weeks and in the years ahead, we extend love to one another um, because as we encounter people in the grocery store line or see each other at stoplights or walk past each other on the sidewalk, um, we think of each other first and foremost as our brothers and sisters in humanity. Uh, related to the election, um, we of course are going to have a runoff statewide, it appears, for two Senate seats and here in the Western Circuit that includes Oconee County and Clark County for District Attorney. And so I thank every one of you for turning out in November. And of course, I thank the Board of Elections and our election staff here in Clark County for their hard work. Uh, but I ask that you turn out again. And in the next two weeks, there will be information at the accgov.com website for how you can cast your ballot in the runoff. We in Athens have worked with our partners in Oconee County to request that the Secretary of State place that district attorney's race on the same ballot for the January 5th runoff as the Senate races so that you only have to turn out one more time and that we only have to spend your dollars on one more election and not two. So be looking for information on that. Also, I want to let you know that we, of course, are going to have two newly elected members of the athens Clark County Commission. Uh, Jesse Hool, who won the regular four-year election seat and won the special election for the remainder of the current unfilled term uh, of the sadly departed Jerry Neesmith, will take office on November 17th and will be sworn in then. Carol Myers for District 8 will be sworn in on Wednesday, January 6th. So I welcome both of them to the very hardworking team that we have that will be continuing their work. And finally, uh, you all have probably seen the national news that uh, as the weather gets cold, um, the pandemic has become even more challenging, um, starting in the Mountain West and Upper Midwest and moving southward. So it's ever more important that we be diligent around smart, easy behavior like wearing your mask. Um, you're protecting not just yourself, but you're protecting your friends and your neighbors and your loved ones. Please continue to maintain your distance. Please continue to wash your hands. 
Um, we need to take care of each other as we move through this autumn and winter. Be well, everybody, and I can't wait to see you again soon.